Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Monday after Epiphany, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that what might be said through the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and curing every disease and illness among the people. His fame spread to all of Syria, and they brought to him all who were sick with various diseases and racked with pain, those who were possessed, lunatics, and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today, as we uh, enter into the time between uh, Epiphany and the baptism of Jesus, which basically concludes the Christmas season, we're again revisiting that early ministry of Jesus just after the time that John the Baptist was arrested. And it's interesting to me that, that Matthew points out the, uh, the coordination, the synchronization of the two ministries where John the Baptist, in preparing the way for the Lord, was arrested. He was uh, forced into captivity by Herod, who had arrested him for uh, basically objecting to his illegal marriage to Herodias. But that was like the signal of, uh, for Jesus to begin his ministry. The preparation is now over. John the Baptist has concluded his ministry, not voluntarily, but involuntarily. And at that point then, Jesus begins his ministry, and he does it by relocating from Nazareth, his hometown, to Capernaum, which is on the north side of the Sea of Galilee. And it is from there that his ministry begins to take root. We have to remember that much of the ministry of Jesus takes place in that northern area of Galilee. And it's only periodic that he goes down into uh, Jerusalem and Judea. Now, here, however, Matthew points out the fact that uh, his going uh, to Capernaum, going up to Galilee, is a fulfillment of the prophecy uh, that was made by Isaiah concerning uh, the Messiah, that the Messiah would, in fact, uh, have uh, a work that would be done in the area of Zebulun and Naphtali, which is the area right there around the Sea of Galilee. And it is to those people, it is to the Galilee of the Gentiles, that that prophecy was given, the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. So we see that this is a time for Jesus to take over. Remember what uh, John the Baptist said when he was baptizing beyond the Jordan? Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That is the exact same message that Jesus brings. <clears throat> it says, from that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He is now taken on the baton, and as the Messiah, the one who was promised, he is coming in fulfillment and is proclaiming again, the kingdom of God is right within your grasp. He, I am here. The kingdom is, is come upon the earth. And Matthew does a good job then of basically documenting an in capsule form the ministry that Jesus had, not in a specific instance, but basically a general uh, uh, view uh, of everything that was taking place. <clears throat> he taught in synagogues. 
He proclaimed the gospel. <clears throat> he cured diseases and illnesses among the people. And because of that, his fame spread. And he even documents the kinds of diseases that Jesus uh, was able to, to cure. That uh, he was curing those who were with various diseases, those racked with pain, those that were possessed by demons, those that were lunatics. In other words, there was mental illness being uh, uh, cured. And paralytics, those who were paralyzed, and he cured them. And because of that, his fame not only spread throughout Galilee and the Decapolis, which is that area all around the Sea of Galilee, but it went down into uh, past Samaria, down into Judea and Jerusalem, and beyond the Jordan, out where um, John the Baptist was baptizing. So again, a lot of exciting things going on. And it is to this world that Jesus came and provided an opportunity not only to present the teachings and the message of God to the people, but then in his ministry to go ahead and fulfill the entirety of the prophets, uh, words that said that he would also be the one who paid the price for their sin. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, we're beginning the final week of the Christmas season, and as always, uh, we are looking forward to spending this time together. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.